it's been a long time since I had little kids in my home and I've never really lived anywhere where trick-or-treating was done uh, I, always too rural on the end of a road no one drives down trick-or-treating usually was something we had to get in the car and go somewhere else to do when my kids were small even when I was a child that's kind of what we ended up needing to do so Halloween is usually relegated to decorating up the house and buying a bunch of candy that then we sit down and eat as we watch movies. This year I decided to change things up a little bit. I decided to do a little masquerade themed Halloween. My dolls, the big ones, have masks. I haven't made masks for the little ones, but I may still. There's time before now and Halloween. Nothing like a simple mask to make you feel like you're in the spirit without expending tons of energy on a costume that you may not get to wear. So this year is all about masks and a few little ball gowns inspired by historical masquerade balls. I look forward to sharing with you some of the little pieces of technique I used. For the most part, since I've already shown how to make the little Red Riding Hood dress earlier, I will just show pieces of I will just show pieces of the dresses behind. It's a lot of applique, it's a lot of machine embroidery, but there's fun appliques out there that you can purchase that can replicate the same idea. Purchased lace can be trimmed and cut and attached to dresses in the same manner. But the best fun is to make a mask. And while my mask is made with thread and organza, it could be so easily made with any kind of other construction materials. You could make a fabric mask and have raw edges. You could use paints. You can put beads. I may actually put beads on this one before I'm done. But a simple elastic, a bit of an organza, and some sort of decoration. And that's all this simple mask is. And that's all their little masks are. So I suggest you get creative, find some materials, even if it's paper, and make yourself a masquerade ball mask. Stick around until the end, and I will have more information on how you can make your own mask. I may even have a link to a template. I'll see you again in a few minutes.
Well, we've made it to the end. I discovered that I could put my mask on over my glasses. <laughs> I am a little surprised about that, and I don't know how it looks from your end, but it makes it a little easier to get it on and off. One of the things that I do when I'm doing something like this mask or the other um, brief standing lace or and applique pieces is I will place a layer of organza down on top of the stabilizer. Synthetic organza is fabulous for this project. It gives a little bit of permanent stabilization so that if your freestanding lace is a little wonky, it's still going to hold up. The wonderful thing about synthetic organza though is that you can burn away the eye holes and around the edge leaving a clean finish. You use a burning tool like a soldering iron or there are actually little irons, little burning tools designed specifically for this kind of project. I recommend, even if you do not have an embroidery machine, to have a little fun with, with synthetic organza and a burning tool. If you take the synthetic organza, place it over a stabilizer that you have traced out the pattern, take that to your sewing machine, stitch down a zigzag stitch, stitch down some running stitches, put some design on it, whatever, have fun. You can then take the burning tool and burn away the eye holes and around the edges. This is a wonderful way to start on your own mask. And again, you don't need to have the embroidery machine to do this. And there's some really fun, this really fun synthetic organzas, especially this time of year, because it's costume. It's made for costumes. So I recommend giving it a try. I will include patterns for my mask and the doll masks in my blog this week. I hope that you will give them a try, and if you do, I'd love to hear from you. Either way, I hope you've enjoyed another Unwinding with Fiber and Fabrics, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Halloween season. again soon.